Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about how to bulk update issues so that you avoid getting carpal tunnel and you can very quickly go through hundreds and hundreds of issues all at the same time, again, without sacrificing your pointer finger. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And before we jump into today's video, three quick announcements. One. I finally have paid courses. So if you're interested in learning from the Jura expert himself, make sure you check out the link in the description below for all the information. Three different courses, one just to learn how to use Jira, one for you to become a Jira expert like me from an administrator perspective, and then finally, one to put the master in Scrum Master. Learn how to use Jira to lead a team and be a very successful Scrum Master. Everything you need to know is in the link in the description below. And then the next announcement is, you can see, I have merch. So if you want to support the channel financially, check out the link, get a shirt, buy one of each, get one for each one of your teammates, get one for everybody you know. They're kind of cool. I like them. They're kind of nerdy. And if you want to help support the channel, make sure you check out the link in the description below. And then finally, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really does help out the channel grow tremendously. It's free for you. Just make sure you hit those buttons and let's jump into the video. Today we're going to be talking about bulk editing issues because anybody can come into it any Jira issue as long as you have the edit permission, but anybody can come in here and essentially change the priority. I can change it to highest. That is something that's very trivial. But if you want to do this on dozens, hundreds, and up to a thousand issues at a time, then you are going to want to learn how to do this in bulk because doing this manually, again, can really, really hurt your finger. And I, and I speak from experience because I still get tingling sensations every time I run my finger over it like this. So make sure that you save yourself a trip to the hospital and a trip to the carpal tunnelist expert. And let's show you how to do a bunch of changes in Jira with just a few simple clicks. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over to issues on the left hand side. This is really, really key because in order to do this bulk edit, we want to know what we're going to edit. So we got to go find it first because sometimes you just want to edit a specific type of issue, maybe issues in a specific status, maybe issues that belong to a specific assignee. Or if you click on more, you can change the issues based on whatever field data you want. In this particular case, since I'm going to be changing all the priorities of all the issues, I'm not going to do any fancy search because I already have the issues that I want. But I encourage you to basically take a second here to really, really figure out what issues you need to bulk edit because this is a critical first step. The next critical step is for you to export your issues. I know you're not trying to do an export, but this is a CYA. In case you accidentally edit the wrong thing and you need to revert, you want to export your issues so that you can always basically at least find out what the value was or if you need to re-import everything again. So this is again, is a CYA completely optional, recommend you export. Excel CSV all fields as this is going to give you the right file that you need in case things go wrong. Now I will disclose that I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these and I've never once have had to come back from my CYA, but it's always great to have a CYA just in case you need it. Once you have, again, step one, which is figure out what issues you want. Step two is export. Now we can begin the fun. Now you do have the option, right? You don't have to do a bulk edit. This detailed view here that we have, this is a great place for you to very quickly and swiftly go through your issues and basically change the field here. This works if you have a small subset. I would recommend something that's like less than 100 because at less than 100, it's still going to take you about 200 clicks and about 100 seconds to complete. But that's still 200 clicks. So if you still want to do the bulk update, even with 50 or more, then let me show you how to do this. So assuming you, again, if you have eight, it doesn't make sense, but this is just my example, but I'm assuming that you're going to have at least over 50 issues. So once you know your issues, once you've taken your export, all you got to do is click on this ellipsis here in the top right corner, and then we're going to do a bulk change all issues. Now, if you've seen my bulk move video, then you probably know that we went down these same steps, but there's going to be a big fork in the road that we're going to go a different route. So make sure you're paying attention because it's not the exact same thing as a bulk move. So once you get to this screen here, we're just going to select all the issues that are relevant. In this case, all of them. We're going to click on next. And this time we're going to click on the first one, which is edit issues. 
One thing I want you to note here that's really, really important. If you're looking to move the issues from one project to another, you need to select the move one. If you're looking to change the issue type, there's you're not going to be able to edit the issue type. So if you're looking to edit, make sure you check out my video on how to move and update the issue types because you'll learn that it's not through the edit, but it's through the move. So if you want those steps, go check out that video. And then finally, if you're hoping to transition, so if maybe you want to update the status, you actually won't update the status. You will do a transition. And I will have a video in the future for how to transition the issues in bulk. But for now, we're going to stick to edit. So make sure you click on next, select edit, obviously. And then we got to figure out what do we want to edit. Now, naturally, Jira is going to show you pretty much every field that is available here. So you can change pretty much anything you want, except those things that I just talked about. But we're going to go to change priority here, and we're going to pick highest, and we're just going to make everything highest. Now, you also do have the option to edit multiple things at the same time. So you don't have to go through this activity once for every field that you want to update. As long as that grouping contains the right fields that you want to put the right values into, you can change the due date, you can add a comment, you can add a label, you can do whatever you want to do all in like series. You don't have to come and do different uh, bulk updates. You can just get it all done in one sweep here. So I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to click next because I just want to change the priority. And then it's going to tell you a summary of what changes are going to happen. And then you can click confirm. So once you do that, you're going to watch a little paint dry. This could take a few seconds to a few minutes to, I don't know that I've ever, that, the longest I've seen is a few hours, but that was a lot of issues and a very complex change. So for the most part though, on average, five to 10 minutes, worst case scenario is going to be about 10 minutes. So you click on done and that's pretty much it. So now it'll redirect you back to where you were previously. So make sure you hit refresh because sometimes it doesn't automatically update. And now if you look through your priority, maybe list view is going to be easier to view. Now you'll see that everything is now highest. So you successfully have bulk updated your issues. Again, saving your finger from getting that carpal tunnel. If you found value out of this video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel because it really does help out the channel grow. Drop a like as that also really does help out the channel grow. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And finally, make sure you check out the merch store because it really does help support the channel. Also, make sure you check out my paid courses because if you're looking to level up your game, if you're looking to level up and get to the next level in Jura, you're going to want to check out a course below because I guarantee you that it is going to help you grow significantly and exponentially. So if you're looking to become significantly better at Jura, check out the description below. All right, I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now